What's going on, guys? Detective Dash here speaking. So, I'm a target individual. So, you'll see me sometime in videos say that I'm back in my old town. The reason why I always say that I'm back in my old town is because I moved. Well, obviously, is because I moved, you know, from here. And that was the only other city that I've pretty much lived in. You know what I mean? So, I moved back. I'm now back down here and I got to find out that this has come with a lot of target individuals when you move from places where you were probably born and raised and found out that you were a target individual it's like you get this airy feeling when you go back there I'm telling you and the memories it's not always it's not all a bad thing because you also get you know memories of when you know probably like when you're a teenager a little kid and it's, it's very beautiful man and to make it even to make it even better, you're a highly spiritual person, you know, so it's just a joy that human reasoning cannot explain. To go back to, you know, places that you grew up and going through these memories, I explain that that's why these people hate the fact that you have memories, especially if you're a highly spiritual person, chosen one, a target individual. They know that your memories are so powerful, which is sometimes when you're thinking about these things, they'll synchronize a plane with you that's pretty much a plane you know some of these people are actually good people in these aircraft that's letting you know that yes whatever you're thinking about is true that's the indication on why they synchronize but you know i got to find out that that was the case i thought that it was just them trying to bother me while i was thinking about these memories but that wouldn't make any sense you know but um you know it's just it's beautiful man and you get to find out that planes airplanes aircraft have a lot to do with target individuals in some way. And there's something with aircraft, you know, specifically UFOs, airplanes, like I'm talking about commercial airlines, people. You know, it's being said that Delta, I heard one target individual named I. Morgan Lewis said that he thinks that it's Delta that they want to choose to do their terrorist act that they're planning. And there could be some truth to it because I, to how I see it is, is, is usually to how I see it is usually Delta and I would say yeah it's, it's usually Delta or or Spirit trying to do these things so they're, they're going to try to choose either Delta or Spirit mark my words you know he said that you know their plan is something you know and we all know that it's, it's a different world post 9-11 since 9-11 happened obviously we all know that something like that is not going to be easy to do like when it happened you know what I mean but they're they're planning something and Delta you'll be surprised to know that Delta is a part of it and that's why you know target individuals we get to find out that listen pilots are the leaders of gang stalking in this program it don't even make sense explaining because it's too much it's literally too much to explain So, the reason why I'm telling you this, you know, this is also, this will also make you understand why people say that, you know, perpetrators of this program sell their souls. If you see the way how these pilots act, if you see the way how these, um, these perpetrators that are pilots act in this gang stalking program, you'll get to find it out. The angles in which they fly, sometimes you'll be looking out your window. And at first I thought that this had something to do with you know, possibly the implantar chip or something like that. But sometimes you'll look out your window and just as you look out your window, they'll perfectly synchronize the plane flying by. And you're saying to yourself, that can't be a coincidence. You know what I mean? Because you'll sit by that window for like 20 minutes and there's no planes going by. And to make it even worse, not just in that spot, nowhere around where you live, where that window is that you're looking at, that spot where you spotted, where you saw the, the plane. You got, if you guys get what I'm trying to say. So there's, bro, there's nothing you can tell a person when they're seeing these things. You know what I mean? This is something that, you know, sometimes happen on a daily basis. If you're really paying attention to it, you know, you get to find out that this probably happens on, you're probably missing these synchronizations because... You know, we actually have lives and, you know, we, we actually have things to do. We're not sitting here just paying attention to everything. 
So there's a lot of things that you're probably missing. There's a lot of tactics that these people, there's a lot of things that these people are probably doing to you. And you're probably wondering why is this happening? Not knowing that it's a part of this stupid program. But you guys know what I mean? It's just, it's, it's very strange, man. It's very strange to you know that pilots are the leader of this program, the leaders of this program. It goes to show you that these people know more about this world than you'll ever know. You know, there's there's no fighting against these people. And that's why every single target individual knows that you cannot win. There's no there's no battling or winning against this program. That's impossible, bro. You're just human. You're literally just human. I just explained to you that there are pilots, bro, that are sitting there knowing when you're about to look out a window and synchronizing these planes with their targets. This is something that happened to me. This is, these are, bro, that tactic, that tactic sometimes happened to me every single day of a month if I'm paying attention. You guys know what I mean? There's, there's certain things that you can't argue with. You know what I mean? So stuff like that goes to show me that who am I really fighting against? These people that can do that. If they have the power to fortune tell and to do all these things, guess what that's telling me? They have supernatural powers. There's no fighting, there's no fighting against somebody that has supernatural powers, people. I'm trying to let you guys know. And there's some target individuals that see stuff like this happen. I know I can't be the only, you know, target that sees that. Sometimes you look out the window and perfectly synchronized, there'll be a plane flying. I'm, I can't be the only target. So some targets, they see stuff like that happen. And they think to themselves, maybe it has something to do with, you know, the implant tar chip that they have. Or maybe it has something to do with some remote neural monitoring. Some extra low, I don't know. I don't even want to say, you know, extra low frequency. Because I don't think that that could possibly be. But probably some type of remote neural monitoring so it's something there it's definitely you know that it's something there and even before you know i got to know that I, I i was thinking bro before i actually found out that these people was fortune telling and that these people had supernatural powers i thought the same thing i simply thought that these people you know was reading my thoughts or something like that on some mind control v2k MK Ultra, Voice of Skull type thing. I honestly thought that there was reading my mind, bro. Because there's no other explanation as to how. How could you possibly know the exact moment I'm about to look out this window to synchronize a plane? 